Hello everybody, welcome back to Bedrock Survival with Fix. I'm Fix. Today we are headed back to the old Diorite Castle because I want to continue some improvements. Believe it or not, we are on episode 140 of this series. Which means that we're only 10 episodes away from a world tour, if you can even believe it, which I cannot. So, you know, we're, we're not in, like, crunch mode yet, but we're in, like, okay, let's get a plan together for these last 10 episodes and get some things that I really want to have done, done. For example, I'd like to have this direct castle. If not at all completely done, I'd like to have it in a good place, you know. And I want to have the New Tuscan area uh, in a really good place as far as maybe all the houses done. Maybe not that upper tier, but maybe all the lower tier. I want to have the fishing village done. I want to have a, a, a space shuttle or moon shuttle entryway into the the main kingdom. That's how the people are going to be getting down here uh, for the lore bit. So yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff for only ten episodes. Today, what I want to do is I want to begin the process of detailing and adding a couple more structures to this. Unfortunately, where I'm standing right now is a terrible, a terrible vantage point for this. I got to finish that tree as well. I was just looking at there. Uh, this giant wall right here has, has, I mean, we've got to do something to it. It's just, it's awful. And this dome is another thing that needs to be done. Let's get in there and take a look and see what we can do. Like, oh man, look at some, some of these, some of these things. Like, uh, this, this has got to have something. Uh, this has got to have something. This could probably end up being windows because it's kind of narrow. So we could probably just do some... Maybe some outcropping, maybe a banner or something. There's a, there's some options that we have there. This is really problematic. So what I'm thinking is that we do a a half tower here. And what I mean by half tower is we're gonna do a, like literally a half half of a circle, and then um, when we do the roof, we're just gonna do half of a roof. So it's not gonna be as tall as this. That way it'll blend into the side. So I'm thinking that we do something like here one. Um, we could do either one or two there. Maybe just one. One, two, three. One. Mm, that's not great. That's not great. Uh, maybe this is better, okay? Maybe we do that this one instead, okay? Something like that. Only I think what we'll do is we'll bring this all in by one. Not too much. Just uh, something like this. We're doing some planning on camera. Everyone loves it. Yeah, it goes right out to the edge. I don't love that it goes out to the edge. I don't want it to be even with the edge. That's not that's not good. So we're gonna back it up a little bit. Okay, so now it's three. Let's take it all the get rid of all these. Okay, we're gonna go three. Nope, I lied. Sorry, we're gonna go two. One, one, two, three, one, and one, two. Okay, how's that? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So I'm gonna build a tower here and then we'll come back and take a look at it. Let's talk a little bit about this little half tower here. I don't want to do a big granite roof on it because I think it'll just blend in with all these other granite roofs that are around here. So instead, what we're going to do is I'm going to go a uh, stair here and then little stair there. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll wrap this guy around here and do, uh, let's see, let's do stair and, oh, shoot, uh, nope, stair, <laughs> totally wrong thing. It's stair down here and then whole block up here and then we'll do stair and stair and then stair again see what i'm saying i'm just randomly picking where we're going to jut down and where we're not because then wherever we don't is going to end up being oak and i think that's going to make a really big difference so um the only thing about this whenever you're doing it is it, it, you can't do a real pattern i i find or else it looks a little bit wacky so Instead of doing a real like a real set pattern, we're gonna do instead we're gonna do very random, and then up on top of it we'll do something like this, and then coming down here, let's get rid of this and this and this and this, and do something like every time it goes down one, we can put wood there. Every time it doesn't, we'll just put wood right here, and we'll just wrap it all around. And uh, yeah, I think it should turn out kind of nicely. Some of these are going to be a lot of the same one in a row but that's that's totally fine i think it, i think the effect from way down there will be uh just dandy well it's been a couple days since i have recorded i uh my allergies have completely completely destroyed me it's the the worst i the worst year i've ever had maybe since i was like a little kid and uh yeah i was just unable to sit sort of upright um 
and uh, yeah, look, I, their allergies, like, so there's a lot of worse things in the world that they could be, but man, I'm feeling it. Anyway, so I haven't recorded in a few days, but I've done a little bit of building as much as I could sort of maintain with sitting up upright whenever I could. And um, uh, yeah, I've done a little building here. I, I, I started working on a little bit of an andesite little bridge area thing right there. I'm looking at this one tower, this one tower right here, and I am unhappy with it. I think I might take the roof off this and make it a taller with a flat roof. Here, let me show you. Let's back up a little bit. I think the problem is, is I have too many of these granite peaks that are all the same height. And you know how I feel about, about getting rid of something that I've already built. And I don't feel great about that. It's not something I do very often, but yeah, I think this guy's got to go. I, I just, I, it's bothered me for quite some time. I think I've tried really hard to talk myself into it. And if you have to try that hard to talk yourself into a build, well, it's probably not that good, you know? Ah, oh, look at my inventory. It's so bad. So, and, oh, thanks, thanks, Windows. Thanks, thank you, thank you, Windows 10. Anyway, so, yeah, so I'm going to take this down, take this roof off, and build up this tower a little bit more, and make this, I think, we'll make this into a, a flat peak with maybe a little lookout thing or something, just to help mix it up a little bit, just so it's not all the same. I think that'll be a really uh, valuable thing. Also, additionally, I did that. We're going to take a look at that next clip. Okay, yeah, this is a big improvement. I'm really glad I did that. I went ahead and made it a little smaller just to add a little bit of sort of forced perspective, if you will, like by making it shrink in size as it gets taller, it makes it seem like it's maybe a little bit taller than it actually is. I had a couple windows up here, uh, not a big deal. I think it's kind of cool. I'm looking at these andesite towers up there. There's two. There's actually one right behind that that you can't see from exactly where I'm standing now. Let's see if we can go down here and get a better view. Yeah, there we go, okay. So I'm thinking, should these, I think these should be flat top, right? And I don't know that they should be andesite, but I don't also at the same point don't know that they should be wood or sandstone or granite either or diorite. So of, of my palette to choose from, I don't really want to leave the palette any more than I already have, which is, uh, you know, I have, I have quite a few different blocks going on up here. I think I'm going to have to stick with andesite. So yeah, we're going to go andesite, andesite toppers up there. I think I'm going to do them flat, kind of like I did this guy up here with a little bit of a castle roof up there. So so here's where, we, where we're at so far. The last thing I want to do for today's little episode here, because it's actually quite a bit of off-camera work, is I want to do these two roofs, and I want to do this roof over here. And to do that, I've been, wor I've been gathering some warped... Is that what it's called? Warped fung... No, it has a word. It has a word, and I don't know what it's called. Let's go take a look. I've been growing it right in here. I went and got, I went to the Nether and got some of this stuff, whatever this stuff is called. What is this stuff called, actually? It's called warp nylium. I went to the Nether and got some warp nylium, and I've been growing some uh, with just some just some forced you know forced bone mealing it to grow. And I have this much of this. So what I'm thinking is that we use some warp, some strip warp stems, and some of this uh, warp block. I think, which actually, obviously they work really well together. They're meant to be together. And I was thinking of maybe a third block, but I don't know necessarily that we need it for the roof of the dome over there. So that's, I think what we'll do next is we'll work on that. And I think before I do that, I'm going to go around the dome and with probably diorite and give it a little bit of a ring. So that way it's not completely flat. So yeah. Yeah, it'll be easier to explain once once I show you. Also, did the floor just so we can get an idea of what that's going to be. I just finished. I just finished. I just slept because it was nighttime, and I'm going to take my first look with you together. Are we ready? Let's go look. Ready? Here we go. And okay, it's very bright. Oh, I like it. Oh, I like it a lot. Oh, look at that. That's super cool. Oh, I love it. Okay, great choice. It's good. It's really good. Okay, so the only thing that I can see that I really want to change here is I want to add, so this isn't a completely flat uh, diorite row. So let's go Let's go do this together and then we'll wrap up. Let me go grab some diorite and we'll, we'll, we'll figure out how to sort of make it look like it's being sort of attached like this. I don't know if, I don't know what it is, kind of copper, kind of like a, like 1.17 copper, I guess, if you will. Uh, let's grab some diorite somewhere. Is it here? No, it's here, here, last last choice. Okay, yeah, this, 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 maybe, I don't know if I'll need that or not, but okay, should be good. And we'll throw it in here. Okay, let's go, let's go attach this uh, diorite part. And then I think, uh, yeah, that's some, that's some major progress in the castle. I think it's good. All right, so here's what we want to do. 
I want some of this to look like it's it's a little bit more attached than others. So I think what we'll do is we'll go like there. And let's go one here. And then we'll go these two here and here and here, something like that. Okay, let's go down and take a look before we do the whole thing. Oh, I got shulkers over here. Let's, anything in this? Diorite. <laughs> oh, a bunch of stuff. Wow. Okay, yeah. Rockets and stuff too. Oh, white terracotta. Oh, end zone. Okay, that's that must be from Cliffs. Oh yeah, okay, that's nice. Yeah, so just just that little bit of a of a plus there is going to be really helpful. And um, yeah, yeah, I think we're good. I think the only thing I could maybe I could use some walls along the diagonals. The the, the reason why I grabbed the walls initially, I'm not going to make it, uh, is because I wondered if if this was going to work without walls because uh, we can do this. Okay, right? We can do this, no problem. But then we have this long stretch of of stuff without any any love right in here. So I think maybe we could get some walls. Not 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 many. Like maybe even just actually maybe just two. Yeah, I think just probably two. Actually, oh, there we go. Let's go take a look at it, shall we? <laughs> Since I fell, let's see. Yeah. That's nice. just a little, just a little bit of a sticker up there. I think it kind of works. If I wanted to, I could use stairs. Like, let's see. Oh man, we're getting there. We're getting there in this castle. That splash of color is just what the doctor ordered, and I love it. I love it. Super cool, man. Very nice. Okay, so there's a few other things that I still want to do with the main structure of this castle, but I don't think we're gonna get there today. I think that today we're gonna call it. The, one of the last things that I, I want to do is going to be um, basically address all the big flat walls, you know, and put in some window wells. Like there's a wall right there. There's a wall up there. If you go around the other side, there's a few. Uh, let's take a look over here real quickly because this is, I don't know next episode if we're going to be here in the diorite castle or what. But yeah, like big flat wall there, big flat wall there, you know, and some of these are going to be helped by windows for sure. But some like they're gonna need something. Some just need some structure, not just window, not just window walls, right? You just need some stuff. The last thing I did actually today is I put a little walkway right there. You can see I actually forgot to take down my scaffolding, but you can. I put a little one. And I went ahead and used andesite, and the reason why I used andesite there is because I thought that uh, bringing just a little bit of color could be cool because I don't always play with shaders. With with the shaders, I don't necessarily need it because the shadows kind of do the trick, but I don't always play with shaders. I don't want this world to rely on them. So, uh, yeah, I go, what I mean, I guess I'd give that little bit of darkness there. And I think what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to do a little bit of insight touches around here just to help, help that to blend. But I think we're in a great place. I think we're in a great place today. And I will see you all next episode from Bedrock Survival with Fix. Thanks so much for spending part of your day with me. Drop a like if you don't mind. I got to ask for that earlier in the video. Darn it, Fix. But, uh, yeah, you know, do, do the thing. And I'll see you, well, probably tomorrow. Okay, I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, everybody.